Greetings, data ninjas. Are you looking for an IDE for a tool to do your database work on Snowflake? Well, data grip might just be the answer for you. Today, we're going to do a demo of data grip, which is part of the JetBrains family that provides an IDE for your database development needs. With that said, we're going to jump right in. Once we install it, it's a, a client you install, very similar to PyCharm, very similar to Dataspell or even ZBeaver, if you've used that, our data grip will, will play in that space where you can connect to your database and do development, leveraging the IDE. For new users, once we launch the application, we'll welcome with a screen that looks like this. Uh, we can connect to uh, source control, open existing code, or create a new project. As always, call that demo hub. The project launches and brings us with the typical JetBrains uh, IDE layout to the left is uh, exploratory options. In the middle is a canvas and to the right is where the files and the folders are managed. Now, the, the first thing that is really relevant here is if we're doing database development, we're going to want to connect to our data source. For us, Snowflake is what we connect to. So here there are tons of options that are available. Let's click on others to see how extensive that list is. But we're going to zero in here for uh, Snowflake. And as always, Snowflake comes with a tremendous amount of simplicity. So you can put in your Snowflake connection name here, some comments. But what's important is the connection that uh, you need to put into Snowflake. You can put your host, uh, username and password, and a few other options to authenticate into your Snowflake instance. Our connection was successful, and now we've authenticated into our Snowflake instance. Now, all the development work we do here, you can certainly do that within Snowflake, leveraging Snowside, a very capable UI. But for folks that prefer to develop outside, this is certainly uh, an option for you. You can see the roles that are available in my Snowflake account. You can see my warehouse. Currently, uh, no databases are selected. Let's go in and select the demo hub database as well as the sample database that uh, Snowflake provides. Within that, you can select all schemas to show up uh, here. It takes a few seconds, and now all the schemas and databases uh, will show up here for us to use. Now, let's jump into explore some of the capabilities of Data Grid. One of the things that uh, folks would uh, really enjoy is uh, a tool that can provide uh, some form of uh, intelligence. If we do uh, select star from it's giving us some literals here, so we can go into demo hub or DB, demo hub, uh, mock data is available, uh, we can limit 10. So just having that speed of development, it's also an option that's uh, great to have. If you go ahead and run that, and our results uh, do show up here on the bottom side of the screen. So this is all the data we have on that table. We're limiting this by 10. You can download this in... Uh, CSV or TSV in different formats. There is also another option here to uh, work with scripts and also to see the results inside the editor as opposed to seeing the results in the output pane below, which could be relevant uh, depending on what you're trying to do. Make sure that's selected. If I go ahead and I run this, as opposed to seeing the results here, we're now seeing the results uh, inside of the editors. Again, depending on what you're trying to do, this might be relevant to you or not. If you want to see the query history of what we executed, you can go in there and you can browse to see the query history we've sent to the database. If there are parameters, those will also show up here. Currently, there are no parameters. And for specific settings in terms of how this editor should look like, you can come in here to configure the settings. You can come in here to configure the settings. Appearance is something that people would typically love. Here, I'm using the Jack Ruler. Here, I'm using the Dracula theme to make everything dark to be easy on the eyes. If that's not good for you, you can certainly uh, change that. But I'm going to keep the Dracula theme for now. Now, let's go in and execute an even more interesting query. This particular query is going to be looking at the sample data and doing some joins uh, to give us uh, what the customers are buying. So it's essentially looking at the customer's data, looking at the orders, and telling us uh, what are the customers are uh, ordering. Run this. It takes a few seconds and the result uh, again shows up uh, below here giving us what the customers are ordering now if you were to go into the snowflake console all of these queries 
are being pushed down back to Snowflake and that's where the execution happens. But the results are simply showing up here. And why would folks want to do this? Uh, there might be reasons that because you have code here, you can version control this. Something that's also fascinating is being able to hover any column and get some good information about the column, the data source, the database, the schema, table, uh, the column name, and uh, some other metadata. Let's do this slowly. If we wanted to go in and uh, jump to the source, we can certainly can do that. Let's go in here. It's going to give us a TDL. You can see this was uh, highlighted as well. So if I wanted to do an author table, I can easily modify the TTL here. Again, because we do have version control uh, available now, all your TTLs, all your statements, or even your DML statements and the scripts you're building can then be version control and directly integrated into Git. That's a capability that's also very powerful to have as an option. As far as Snowflake is concerned, there are a couple of objects that you don't get uh, when working with tools outside of the Snowflake UI like stages, pipes, tasks, and all of that, you wouldn't get that within the data grip UI. If you want to see those objects, you're going to want to leverage uh, the Snowside UI and uh, develop within that experience. Now, there are a couple of things. If we wanted a new UI or a new worksheet to work with, you can certainly come in and create a brand new worksheet. And this is where you can begin writing those, uh, those queries. Also, if we come in, select a particular table. Uh, here, there are uh, many options that are available. You can create a new table and there is uh, tons of information that's available. Streams, views, materialized views, schema, database objects, all of that is uh, available here as an option. Now going below, there is the idea of a quick documentation, which is a documentation again about this uh, table. And if you want to see a preview of that, that's available here. You can see that table preview the sample data right there before you even write a single line of query. Let's right click back on that. There is also a diagram, so you can come in and show visualizations of this particular uh, object. So in this case, this is a table and this is essentially the schema we're working with, the name, gender, and other information. Let's, let's look at diagrams, the entire schema level. Uh, this really gives you your, your ERG type visualization here directly within a data grip. This is something that tools like ZBiva also provide those capabilities, but seeing that here in data grip is, is relevant for teams that are developing uh, and creating new objects. One of my favorite features, and this is something that we're going to touch on this well before we wrap up the demo here, is the ability to import data sets into Snowflake directly from the UI. In, and go down to import, there's the ability to come down here Go ahead and import the file and this will copy that directly into Snowflake. It's going to give you the options to select the schema and that file will be imported. Very handy for folks who have data sets or files or sitting on the desktop. You quickly want to bring that into Snowflake. Uh, you can go out and get an ETL tool to do it, but it is a one-time thing you have to do. Having this option to quickly import data into Snowflake uh, is always uh, very relevant. There you have it, a quick overview of uh, data grip is a tool that helps teams uh, develop a very fascinating uh, tool from the JetBrains family. JetBrains is a very capable organization, co very capable company. Their tools are highly used. PyCharm is uh, up there, data grip, data law, and uh, a few others they have. Uh, as we've discussed, this is not free. JetBrains uh, does have some uh, commercialization and pricing around their products. The pricing here is on the screen for uh, data grip alone. Or if you're looking at uh, the entire pack that gives you everything that JetBrains provide, not just uh, DataGrip, Rider, IntelliJ, WebStorm, PHP Storm, Dataspell, you name it, then you're going to have to pay uh, a little bit more. For some people, this could be too much, but depending on what you're doing, what your workflow is and what your use cases are, it might make sense. There are certainly uh, alternatives in the market that are free. But just given how capable JetBrains is, it might make sense for you to leverage this again, depending on your needs and your workflow. So there you have it, a quick overview, a quick walkthrough of uh, data grip connecting to Snowflake as a tool within the modern data stack, helping teams develop and build uh, data products. As always, uh, thanks for watching to the end. If this was helpful, please like it and share it with somebody that might get value out of it. This has been Fro here with DemoHop, and I will see you in our next demo.